All right, you guys, so we're going to do a demonstration here. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily call it an Echo versus Husqvarna demonstration, but uh, you can consider it partially that. Um, we're going to compare, do a torque test of an Echo SRM 2100, which is what this trimmer is. Now, a lot of you guys are going to say, oh, this trimmer's old, yada, yada, yada. Well, they still use the exact same engine in the newer um, Echoes, a lot of the newer Echoes. We're going to be comparing it to a Husqvarna 224L four-stroke. So really, if you want to consider this, it's probably better to consider this a two-stroke versus four-stroke. Um, I know a lot of you guys are going to be, oh, it's apples, the oranges. It little, uh, somewhat is, but keep in mind, you can still buy this trimmer, this Echo, and it's pretty costly if you get an upper model one with the same engine. Probably about as much as that one can be. Um, but what we're going to do, I saw actually... Echo gave me this idea off their videos I've seen before, but uh, we're going to put the head in a bucket of water here and uh, give it full throttle, see how much it sloshes and how quick it can rebound from being uh, uh, stuck in water. Um, I measured the string on each trimmer to two inches with the tape measure and cut it. I did that because my bucket is only so big over there. We're going to give this a little demonstration. Uh, like I said, this is an Echo SRM. Uh, 2100 and a Husqvarna 224L. All right, so uh, let me guys get you set up here where you guys can see the bucket, and I'll tell you guys what we're starting with first. All right, YouTube. So we're going to begin our torture test with the uh, SRM 2100. A um, couple things I want you to note is how fat, how long it takes before it actually catches up with itself. So pretty much, how long does it bog for before it actually catches up? Um, keep in mind, it being a uh, two inch line, it shouldn't really have much of a problem uh, revving up a full throttle. And uh, you want to watch how much the water splashes out and how long it takes to do that. So uh, let me get this one started here. see it did swirl the water pretty good but it took a while to get there it just doesn't have the, the torque to be able to spin it off right out of the bat um, but, all right and, uh, let me fill this basin back up with water and I'll turn it back on so you guys can see all right guys on to our next test here this is going to be the Husqvarna 224L you can see by the head it's a T35 head so you know it's Husqvarna and uh, yeah, it's Honda powered four stroke. Like I said before, watch how much water splashes and how quick it can respond to that uh, that bogging of the water. You guys saw that, but the uh, Husqvarna actually uh, put out two inches more of line on. Uh, I guess the water made it do that. I'm not sure, but uh, that might be a factor that might alter our results. But uh, we'll have to see. All right, let me set you guys back up. All right, guys. So that's the little test demonstration I was doing. Um, as you can see. Actually, they both extended their line out a bit. I'll let you guys decide uh, which one has more torque and which one is a little bit more powerful than the other. Um, I will. Um, they, uh, they're pretty close. But um, you know, I wish I honestly had a bigger water pail than that. That would help out uh, be able to show its true torqueiness. Because once I get up the speed on that one, it just splashes all out. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.